takes me back to Lincoln. Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush, and guru of Husker football history, Chris Rath. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. We may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight. 12-year NFL veteran. He's got some speed to go with strength. Huskers and Green Bay Packers Hall of Famer. Shovel pass to Green into Vikings territory. Finally brought down. And University of Nebraska eSports coach Amon Green. Look at Green all by himself. 20, 10, touchdown. Brought to you by Sand Hills Global on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. It is a rainy Thursday morning, and it's good to be back in the studio. My man, A.G. Rafferty is out today. We got Nick holding it down. Yes, indeed. A.G., it's good to be back, man. Yeah. It's good to yeah. be back, brother. You had I know I know you probably already shared with it um, when you got back over the weekend, too, from Columbus, Ohio. I wanted to ask you real quick, Chief, before yeah. I even go there, before yeah. I even go there, awesome. met a guy yesterday in the Denver airport. What up, Rico? My man. Rico. Met a guy in the airport in the yeah. uh, in Denver yesterday. I'm going to get this food in a little United Club yeah. area to get the little food. And <laughs> oh, there he goes. There goes that guy. Yeah. There goes that guy. He goes. He goes. You off on the radio today? Because you know it's totally out of context. Right, you're in the Denver. Air, you're in the airport. Yeah. You and I looked. I get was thrown like, off guard on yeah, that. One. Got yeah. Yeah. I feel you. Off guard. I feel and, you on that. Um, I'm like, yeah. I said, you may listen to the show. He goes, yeah. And I and forgive me if I'm screwing up your name. I know his last name is Boss. I know his last name is Boss. Okay. He used to coach at Waverly. He used to coach at Waverly. It's either Todd or Ty. One of those two. Right. I, guess I wrote it down on my phone here. Some more of my notes. But it took me totally off guard, man. But it was really cool to meet a guy that um, uh, I'm not even sure where he was going. I was on my way back home. Yeah. Uh, back here last uh, yesterday. So, um, but it was cool to hear a guy. He goes, man, I really enjoy you guys. And AJ yeah. told me a story. He goes, um, he goes, he may have the names wrong, but he goes, there was a story to where the first thing where Jason Peter was asked that Amon Green run you over. <laughs> <laughs> I, really, I want to know did, his answer. Yeah. Did, did, you, right. did you bring that up during the show or something? Um, recently, when we did an event together. Okay. Yeah, we did an event. Up so he, at, must, uh, he must have been there. Yeah, we were at uh, shoot, Fairfield, okay. Nebraska, probably in the last, I think it was before Christmas break or okay. right after. And it was a fundraiser. And I think somebody in the crowd asked about that but no it was it wasn't jason it was christian christian okay it was day one my freshman year camp so you were there and i remember first carry i come in right after lp and chopped chopped the defense up and he's like your turn freshman i'm like really (laughs) i go in there first two plays uh i think i get like a one yard carry then boom i get blown up by by uh christian Take that stuff back to high school, freshman. You don't run the ball. That's how you, we don't run the ball like that here. Da, 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 da. He's telling me how to run the rock. And I'm like, note it. So I'm like, and but, but that's where people learn right away that you tell me something. I'm a even though it's trash talking, it's on. It's on, and it's now in fifth yeah. Oh, you just helped me out. You, you yeah. mean run harder? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me turn it up a notch. Yeah. No problem. So a couple uh, drives later, I got back in. I remember what he said, and so I was like. I threw a band into the wind. I was like, all right, if it, if I get hit again, it is what it, what it is. is. I'm going to bring it. And I did. Came through there, probably picked up. It was probably my biggest run of the day, about 10, 15 yard game, yeah. you know? And he came back and he's like, he kind of tapped me on my head, like, good run, freshman. And then later on, he's like, man, I thought my, he, um, after practice, he had ice bag on his shoulder. Uh-huh. Like, man, I thought my shoulder was dislocated, <laughs> but it's just sore. But that's how you run the ball. That's how you run the ball, freshman. I'm like, okay. Hey, Nick, Mr. Amon, Peter, Amon there you got go. the ball and did an early rule. <laughs> I die! I die! Right, <laughs> exactly. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? <laughs> All right, but yeah, he uh, he set the tone for me. I mean that between him and our old line, yeah, Aaron, Aaron, so Aaron Graham, Aaron Taylor, Chris Dishman was the quiet one of the bunch. In my face during practices, during <laughs> games, be like, freshman, we about to do this. I'm like, yes, we are, sir. Yes, We're we going to do are, this. I'm, I'm listening to you. Why are you yelling? Why are we yelling <laughs> right yelling now? Because we hyped up. I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, man. But that was that was my freshman year. My freshman year, because I was, you know, I was pretty much like mute. I didn't say a whole lot. No, you didn't. And so them yelling at me, I'm like, 
Like, am I in trouble? <laughs> I'm like, what did I do wrong? I, didn't, I just got in the huddle. Tommy, why are you yelling at me? Get the ball. You stay with me. If you don't stay with me, you don't get the ball. I'm like, no problem. I'm on your hip. Number 15. Gotcha. I was like, woo. He, Toby Boss. I think, Bose. yeah. Bose. Toby Boss. Toby Boss. Bose. Bose. Toby Bowes. Yeah, I have Bowes in uh, Wisconsin that I know too. Maybe hey, relation. I don't know. Is this to- Toby? If this is you right now, no, man. Boss. I have Boss. Toby, this is, if this is you right now. Let us know, man. It was a pleasure meeting you yesterday, man, in the airport. And like I said, I was off guard. You know what, AG and Nick? This was that was yesterday was the first time I wore a tie in an engagement in a long time. Mm. Wow. You no, know I just wear like a button up shirt, you know, with a blazer or something mm-hmm. like that. Especially this particular group, it's called Accelerant. They have them all over the country. But um, I went, you know, something you say old school when you wear a tie. Yeah. But I rocked a tie yesterday. And so it just, it was undoing my tie. It's kind of getting ready to sit down. I was actually taking their table that they were leaving from. Right. And he just goes, you're off in the rain today. So that was cool, man. Toby, man, it was, it was great to see you, brother. Yeah. We got a lot to discuss. We got a great guest coming in. Uh, Lincoln Stars coach Rocket Russo is coming in. And I'm going to pick AG's brain at the 9 o'clock hour, too, about recruiting. Because there's a lot to talk about recruiting. Nebraska's landed a few guys uh, as well. But just styles of recruiting. Being out in Denver yesterday, heard some very interesting takes from the Denver uh, mm. folks in the audience yesterday as okay. well. Obviously, there was a big ban in the NBA. We'll talk about that the 930 hour. Want to get your thoughts on that. Uh, and it wasn't just a little bit of ban either. It was a long ban, like as long as he's living ban. You know, <laughs> as far cool. as wow. that goes. That sucks. Folks, but we come back. Learn. Absolutely. AG, take us away, my man. Hey, listen to The Drive 93.7. We'll be back in a few. Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Grandma and Grandpa, Mom and Dad, then the kids, and now the grandkids. Judson Irrigation has provided lawn sprinkler system design, installation, repair, and service to four generations. They're just like members of the family. Loyalty, trust, service. It's what you deserve and expect from Judson Irrigation. Keep summer green. Call Judson Irrigation, 402-420-6277 or JudsonIrrigation.com. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today. We'll see a chance of showers this morning and partly sunny skies this afternoon. It will be breezy too with the high around 58. Tonight we'll see increasing clouds and a low around 35. And tomorrow mainly cloudy skies expected with an afternoon high around 59. Meteorologist Kyle Fletcher for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. One action, no matter how small, can have a world of impact on the life of a child. Cedar started because one couple believed that they could provide a child with a better life. And that belief grew into the Cedars that we know today, a powerful force for good that helps thousands of kids across Nebraska. Belief grows. Hi, Sean Callahan here for Cobble Chevrolet GMC, and our annual spring sales event is now underway. We have absolutely huge savings right now at Cobble. New Sierras and new Silverados have a double whammy. Choose from APR starting at 1.9% or discounts over 9,000. Yes, that's right, 1.9% APR or discounts of over 9,000. So please take that short money-saving drive down 144th Street just south of the interstate or check us out online at CobbleCars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with approved credit the double the savings sales event is happening now through april 22nd at bonds all pool and spa during this event buyers can take advantage of up to fifteen hundred dollars in savings and receive zero percent apr for 60 months visit the bonds all pool and spa showroom at 33rd and pioneers or visit their website at bondsallpool.com to learn more about their hot tub sale act fast because this offer ends soon bonds all pool and spa every day made better The Mill Coffee and Tea, formerly with only four Lincoln locations. Guess what? What? 
there's five Lincoln locations now. Oh my gosh. That's 25% more Lincoln locations than there used to be. Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. <sighs> the Mill on 11th, located right alongside 93.7 The Ticket Studios, 1040 O Street. Wall to Wall Wine and Spirits is your place in North Lincoln to go for all your needs in wine, spirits, and beer. They also have a large variety of cigars in their walk-in humidor, and they have a top-notch walk-in, temperature-controlled, high-end wine room. Plus, you can enjoy free samples from their tasting bar. There's only one place to go for all your needs for spirits and cigars, Wall to Wall Wine and Spirits on North 27th Street in Lincoln. Hey guys, Jake Sorensen here from Early Break. The garage door at our house has been needing replacement for a couple years, and a few months ago, we finally did something about it. Steve's Garage Doors and Services was great through the whole process in providing options and also going to the next level to get a door that was approved by our HOA. And best of all, the removal of the old door and installation of the new door was done smoothly with no issues. Call Steve's Garage Doors and Services today at 402-480-2840. I'm Senator Bo Valley. I was born and raised in Lancaster County, learning the value of hard work and grit at a young age. I built my own company, creating jobs right here in our community. I know that families and businesses in our community need lower taxes, lower cost of health care, and a great education. That's why as your senator, I helped pass the largest task and made the most significant investment in education in Nebraska history and worked to reduce the cost of health care. I'm Senator Bo Ballard, and I humbly ask for your vote on May 14th. Paid for by Ballard for Nebraska. Hey Husker Nation, Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. Spring sports are here and it's time to upgrade your equipment. But don't go rushing to your big box store. Play It Again Sports is your place to go for all spring sports equipment. For baseball, softball, golf, and disc golf. Play It Again Sports has quality, slightly to gently used equipment. And 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And don't forget, buying from them is a great way to get new products with great discounts. By also bringing in your used items for store credit or cash on the spot. Play It Again Sports at 48th and Vine. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Gray on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right. All right. You're on. All right. Oh. All right. I don't think my headphones are plugged in. I don't think. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yep, there He's go. being silly. He's being I AD. kept saying, all right. Now it's popped saying, on. Your mic is, your mic is, is mic on, on as it can go. Mic is on. Yeah. All right. Folks, we are back in the house on this Thursday morning. And I tell you what, in 24 hours, it's about to be on and popping. We got Coach Rocket Roost on the house. Coach, good morning. How you doing? Good morning to you. Thanks for having us on. Coach. Yeah. I love the haircut every time I see it, man. I'm due. It's a little long. See, because me and you both bald, <laughs> so, you know, do you, do you use a razor, a blade, or do you use, like... And I'm, and I'm voluntary oh, over here. Wait, I'm wait, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, Don't it's forget we got Jared Megan this. over here. I was going to say, we right. got Jared over there we with are, the flow, and I was going to try to get yeah. some advice on that. Right. Jared will look like Justin Bieber haircut, man. I mean, he got that joker just flowing, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I had it buzzed at the beginning of the year, so this is just, just growing back Dang. right now. Yeah, I love it. I love it. fast, too. Coach. It must be nice when you have the choice. I don't really yeah, have, I don't have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> we have choices over here. Yeah, yep. you and AG got choices. Yeah. Me and Coach, we'd have cul-de-sacs if we let ours go all the way out, man. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, that's not true because it's been gone so long that I don't really know. <laughs> so I'll just tell everybody that that's a nice lush is full of head. But I don't think so. How, often, think so. how often are we are we, are we man maintaining it? I mean. Uh, I'm I'm Razor. Is it a once a week thing? Uh. Twice a week. Twice, okay. twice a week. Yeah. I yeah. Now I will I will go with the grain. I do I if go. I have to. Yeah. Uh to 
that way I don't let it grow too long. I always mm. go with the grain. Oh, I like I, to I've go never, against I, the I've grain. I've never tried so it for so a little <laughs> extra couple of days. It doesn't come back if you go against the grain? Yes. Yeah, it goes deeper. Yeah. It, it, it'll, oh, it'll, yeah. It'll, okay, so and it's smoother. Yeah. It's yeah. smoother. Gotcha. And then you go with some, do that. Uh, some nice aftershave or some coconut oil. Yeah. Good to go. There you go. I'm always wow. scared to go against the grain because I'm not, you know, I'm not sure if I'll have like, you know, planets develop on my head. On yeah, well, I, for me, I automatically, I know I get bumps in the back of my yeah. head. I can't go. Uh, I got to I got to talk to you about your aftershave. That'll oh, get rid of your. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Will that be Brute by Vapergé? Yeah. No, no, we're going to change it. We're going to change it. We're going to change it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Speaking of bald heads and all that good stuff, that's all good banner and chatter. But I tell you what, you guys got a big, some big games coming up starting tomorrow. And first of all, congrats on the wins you guys had mm -hmm. uh, early in the week as well. Thank you. You guys got home at what time from Waterloo? About 4 a.m. Oh, man. Congrats. Coach, tell us. Okay, who, first of all, who'd you bring in with you this morning? We've got uh, our alternate captain, Jared Mangan, here. Uh, Jared's in his second year with mm -hmm. us here in Lincoln, and he's uh, he's currently our, our team leader in scoring for the season, and uh, it's been a big reason why we're having so much success. I love it. I love it. Nice. Jared and, and uh, AG, I'll let you ask. Jared, I'm going to ask Rocky this real fast. Coach Russo, tomorrow's game, okay, it's going to be uh, the, uh, the uh, icebox is going to be, it's, it's going to be hopping. It's going to be hopping. What is your message to the players knowing that you guys take care of business, you take care of business? So what's your message to the guys coming into this? One? Obviously, they know already being this late in the season. It's mm -hmm. playoff time. What's your message and mindset for the guys coming in from, uh, to Jared and his, coach, his teammates? It, you know what? Every game that we get to play in that building is special. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's always the message to our to our players is you get an opportunity to play in the icebox. You get an opportunity to play in front of our fans. And and those are those are situations that that you're going to look back on in your career. And you're going to be so uh, you're going to be so proud and, and have so much gratitude for those those chances and, and those opportunities. And we don't take them for granted. And and. You know, we're done with the regular season this year. There's, there's no more of those chances. We've got two of them in the in our building this weekend that we know of, and and in order to get more, we got to get to the next round because three, four, and five are all in Sioux City, and uh, and so you know, do everything we can to try to win two this this weekend and put ourselves in a position where we're going into Sioux City and we've got to win one out of three. And obviously, we don't want to get to that point. You want to you want to win it in three, but. Uh, I have an awful lot of respect for for Sioux City and their coaching staff and their and their team and how good they are and um, they're going to give us a tremendous challenge. So we're going to use that ice box advantage the best we can. Uh, Jared, I got I got to ask you a question, my man. So you guys go on the road uh, for the first two games and incredible performance by by the goalie by the tendy, right? But talk about just the conversations you guys had, whether it was with coaches, without coaches, in your in your own locker room about all right mate we were on paper the underdog doesn't mean we doesn't mean we don't lose right we, we go in and we win what, what were the conversations like over this past you know week or so uh i just think when we play our way like it's hard to beat us it's hard to stop us like when we do all the right things uh what is not, that what is the playing the right way just like playing simple like not trying to do too much like our d just getting the puck up and just getting shots on that just Keeping everything simple. It's playoff hockey, so you don't yeah. don't want to do too much. We're we're big into our identity. Yeah. And mm -hmm. and I talk all the time about our identity and our process. And you know, we we understand what we are. We 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 have really good players, but we don't have uh, a ton of high, high, high end talent. We don't have any first round NHL draft picks playing playing on the, the front end of this team. We got guys that are doing the little things to succeed. Mm -hmm. And so um, for us, it's it's getting pucks in, it's getting pucks out, it's putting pucks behind the the D, it's playing in the hard areas, it's it's defending in groups of five, it's staying disciplined and and only taking hard penalties, it's making sure we're managing our emotions on the bench, and and playing for the guy next to us. And and you know what I felt as a coach, and and Jared can probably uh, follow this up, but I felt like there was big time buy in on Monday and Tuesday night, and mm, and our group huge understood the assignment kept the kept the train on the tracks doing the things that we need to do to be successful and and we didn't veer off of it there was no passengers everybody was trying to drive the bus and 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 that's why we got what we got yeah when uh yeah everybody on the same page everything gels everything works together so jared um seeing that you got here a few years ago what was the biggest difference of that team from year one to now and then the, the team that's now in the playoffs fighting i mean Last year, we're definitely a lot older. 
got a lot of younger faces this year and uh, took them a little bit to learn but i mean i think they learn now and they're just doing all the right things and that's what we need right now nice nice you know you got here from chase b chase b good morning to you man chase b says way to get the job done in waterloo keep it rolling go stars we love chase b he's always uh he's always a, a big supporter following us watching the games at the games at home uh always getting us great comments and questions when we're on the radio here for for the show so we certainly appreciate his support and all of our fans you know i guess it's going to go twofold this next question here you know being this deep in the season uh coach there's a lot of guys that are i'm sure jared got some bumps and bruises sore guys are beat up mm -hmm. and you got some guys and I think about hockey we talk about hockey you're hitting somebody all the time in most parts i mean you're constantly rolling what's the psychological impact what are the, and i asked you what do you ask the guys you know what's the mindset you have for this how do you get the guys through the bumps and bruises and the injuries to where the body is saying, man, you know what? I'm tired. What's, what's, I'm going to bring this back to you, Jared, when you get a chance. Be thinking about that. Coach, what is the thing that you're doing to try to keep the players as healthy as you can? What's the guy, the message you're preaching to them as far as, because their body is, the body will, will lie to you all the time. Hmm. It'll lie to you all the time. AG being in the league 12 years will tell you that as a running back, um, the team well, you, you played for. Your, your brain is going to lie to you. Brain, not their brain. Body. Your brain, brain your body's brain, gonna tell body. the truth. Brain, your, 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 your body's tell you the truth. Your brain the is brain. gonna tell you you're tired a Absolutely. lot longer before your body before will. exactly. Absolutely, you yeah. got more in the tank, and that is always the message that I have for the guys: is you have more in the tank. But with that being said, Jared, Jared knows after almost every practice, I'm like, all right, guys, you got to recover. You got to hit your ice bath. You gotta, you gotta hydrate. You gotta rest. You gotta eat right. Mm -hmm. Go see, go see Corey. Get your, get your work done hit the foam roller, do the things you need to do to make sure you're taking care of yourself. And, you know, as a coach, I need to manage that down the, down the stretch for mm. sure. And so, you know, the last month and a half, I've tailored our schedule to make mm. sure that we're getting that recovery. The, the max recovery that we could get. Now, keep in mind, we had a bear of a schedule. We had uh, like five, three game in three day sets over six or seven weeks. Wow. And that's a that really takes its yeah, toll. That's a great, so that sounds like a grind. Right? Yeah, it was a big time grind. So we adjusted our afternoon schedule at times. We took an extra day off here or there. Um, you know, I adjusted the practices that I'm putting together mm -hmm. because guys, maybe we don't need to be as physical during practice because that's part of it. All mm -hmm. all year long, you're practicing four or five days a week, playing two games, traveling the whole deal. It's tough, and so you know, it's my job to make sure I can read the room and understand mm -hmm. when the guys need to uh, take a step back, when they need to be pushed harder, when when they need to just get away from the, the rink and spend some time doing some other things. And I've had a nice combination of, of all of that down the stretch. We're still doing our yoga every week, mm -hmm. and, and the guys are going to yoga today because I feel like that's important and it's part huge. of that recovery. And so uh, Lotus, right down the road, yep. has been taking care of us for a few years. They do a fantastic they job. Do. and. The guys go in there once a week. They'll go in there this right. afternoon. So, but that's that's been my approach. And and then talking to the guys. Tell me what you need. Tell me how yeah. you feel. Mm -hmm. You know, do you do you want to go hard today? Do you need an extra day? Tell me what you need because we need to be ready to go on Friday night. You yeah. know, coach, what you mentioned, and that's why I was talking the mindset. Because the like I, like I was saying, I said body, but it is the brain. I get off the airplane yesterday, uh, Jared. I'm like, you know what? You know, I've been on the road. I'm tired. I hadn't got that workout in yet, though, AG. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to tell yourself to shut up. <laughs> shut up, get in the gym, get it done. I go in there, get felt great yeah. after I got done. Yeah. Jared, you're being, okay, I'm going to be your pops. What are you, what, 19 years old? I'm 21. Oh, 21. There you go. My bad. 21. Yeah. You're still old <laughs> enough, though. I hate yeah. to break it to you. Yeah, yeah, Just so am I. I. Yeah. <laughs> I got a 25-year-old. So yeah. I got a couple 20-somethings. Yeah, we know that. We, we, <laughs> we got to be up there, ATA. We yeah. know. Oh, we yeah. up there. Yo. So, Jared, what do you do when your body at 21? When Because, you know, sometimes, are there times those skates feel a little heavier? I mean, yeah, there's definitely times where skates feel a little heavy, but you know, I just kind of got to work through it. Mm -hmm. how it goes. And. I mean, I, I think about it this way, like, we only got a couple more weeks left. Might as well give it all you got, you know, try to win a championship. And then at the end of the season, then you could rest. That's the other, that's the other message mindset. that I give to Your the guys, mindset. right? Like, I'll be back next year mm -hmm. with a different group. Mm -hmm. So there'll be some guys return. There'll be some guys that go on. Jared's going to Clarkson next year. He's moving on to his college career. Right. Congrats to you, too, Jared. And, and so for, for us, this is the only time that you're going to sit here exactly as this group is made up. Mm. You get one crack at this. 
Right. And and yeah, for some of you, just like Jared sat in that room last year when we lost in the conference finals, well, Jared got another chance. How many guys in that room did it? Mm -hmm. And so we can't take that for granted. We can't look ahead to what might be. We need to be in the moment. We need to be where our feet are. We need to be, give our best effort. Absolutely. And if you come up short, you come up short. Mm -hmm. But but you don't want regrets at the end of the day. Absolutely. All right. So real quick, I gotta ask because I'm a um, I love the process of getting prepared to play, compete physically, mentally, emotionally. So finding out on a scale of one to 10 between ice tub and yoga, what's your favorite? Uh, you, can, you know, you got to do them, but where, where they come in, where they rank in at. Uh, I'm not an ice tub guy. I've done it a couple, <laughs> yeah. I've, I've done it a couple of times, but, but you know, you got, it's something you got to yeah, do though. Yeah. yeah. I'm definitely more of a yoga so guy. So more of a five area. Yeah. Definitely likeness. a little five. <laughs> got you. What about yoga? Yoga is definitely like a nine. There nine you go. Ten. I, I love yoga. Okay. Yeah. That's what I found out freshman year here. Like I had ice trash cans in high school. So we put all the ice <laughs> right before practice. I went to Omaha central. We were dumping in there and by the end of practice would be all melted. We jump in. When I got here, it was a tub. Same thing. Ice thrown in there and a, and a, and a, a, a propeller at the one end old school silver tub mm -hmm. like from like look like from 18 something hey that's what we're still rocking here yeah. in the ice box man so <laughs> yeah i feel you so yeah jump in there and figure it out real fast how sitting in the cold tub like i didn't get it at first being 18 coming out of high school i mean i knew high school doing it but then the recovery side of it is a beneficial side of it's um recovering your body then you almost feel brand new out there the next day or two days later but it's um, something very important it, it it really is uncomfortable in the moment there's yeah. an, and I'm 42 and I have no reason to do it at this point, except for I know the benefit of it. Yep. And I do feel better when I when I do it. And so uh, as an athlete, obviously in it, getting hit every day, uh, competing and, and having to, to recover as quickly as you can. That's it's almost like a cheat code. It is. Uh, but it, it's certainly not very fun to do in, in the moment. But you could do just about anything for two or three minutes. Yeah. You just got to You got to fight through it. The first thing you fight through that you get. Jared, just so you, I don't know if you know who you're, just so you know, he, he understands what he's talking about. That's him right there, Mon Green, running a 98-yard touchdown against Denver Broncos. You, you know what? You're so making me sad, dude. <laughs> Are you a Broncos fan? No. He's making so me sad. did you know sad. who that was? I didn't. No. <laughs> I, 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 last 20, I'm okay with it. A lot of 20-somethings don't. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. But that's okay. my point right now so. is I'm sad because I can't fathom how you don't know who Amon Green is, and and but I'm 42 years old, so I watch you play in college, and right. I watch you play in the NFL, and I took DP talks about you all the time, so it's like I get it, but the fact that you're right, you need to tell him who you're yeah, sitting. Yeah, I want next him to, to know so he just wouldn't think this is some guy. This guy, you talking about ice baths, oh, yoga to keep his body. I mean, you think about the literally get hit. Every play, 80, every no, play. I got hit 80 percent of most. 80 percent of the time, so yeah. he understands full yeah. well what it takes to take care of that body, especially when you get to the playoffs. Ooh. Your body is saying, man, you're putting those shoulder pads on, which you both do. Mm -hmm. Man, these things feel like a little day. less, A little less equipment on your shoulder pads yeah, than ours. A little, but, less. Yeah. little less. But still something that, you know, it's part of the process of getting ready for a mm -hmm. game. And when you when you put your pads on, some guys do it right away. Some guys wait to the last second before you go out and coach calls up. You know, some guys are halfway in the middle. They have their, their ways about things of getting ready and mentally, physically, and just know that, They've been doing it for so long that, okay, this is how I'm going to make sure I feel right and do everything I'm supposed to do, then I'm going to have the game I need to have. That's him. I, I looked at him last week, and I go, we're on the ice in four minutes, right. and you're standing here with nothing on. He goes, <laughs> I'm good. I got it. Don't worry. I got it. And I popped up. There he was. He was, he was on the go. ice. He's ready to go. So yeah. I won't question how long it takes him to get dressed anymore. <laughs> we wear different. I mean, your shoulder pads were bigger. Yeah. But these guys are wearing they're wearing the big shin pads. They're wearing the big yep. pants and the gloves. The gloves. I mean, it's it's a lot of equipment, and uh, and and that that on top of of everything else you're dealing with is is a challenge for sure. As we before we take you guys away, AG, I want, to, I want you to have the last words to share with Jared and his teammates. If you were in that locker room, <clears throat> and you know, I know Coach Rule, I mean Rocky does Russo does it all the time. Yeah. But being a former athlete at the highest level, and you you've done something those guys are aspiring to do in their space, what would be the word of wisdom you would give those guys right before they went out? Our uh, word of wisdom is uh, don't let the don't let the moment be bigger than you. Um, respect your opponent, but don't fear your opponent. Real simple. Definitely. Yep. Definitely. Take that. Rocky, you can remember that one too. Use it. 
<laughs> because I mean, I remember one situation. I mean, I'm 13, 14 years old when I just can't move back from Los Angeles to play football here and not really known or I don't know anybody. And I become part of us, uh, boys and girls club team called the bears. So we were a motley crew of kids. Um, <laughs> and long story short of it, we were the underdogs. We didn't, a lot of people didn't think, you know, we were an okay team, but we ended up going 12 and one for on the season. The first game of the season, we played against a team that the year before handled us. I wasn't on this team. I was out in California handled as well. And so the players kept telling me about this. Oh, this team is big. They're strong. They got beers. They're driving. I'm beard. Hold up. <laughs> they're driving to the game. I, we 13, 14. Like, what are they doing? But long story short, we get into, we go 12 and one, get into the championship game against them and then beat them 42, 14. Gee, I wonder if it was the addition of the running back that changed that. <laughs> <laughs> Between that, but I think more, more in short, more in short, the mentality too, because these guys around me were phenomenal athletes. Absolutely. And then you add me to the equation. <laughs> mentally and physically because i was that guy <laughs> but i was also the guy the kid that understood the mental part of football yeah. and my dad would always check me he was like you're not 13 he's like you don't talk like a 13 year old when you mm -hmm. you just said what you said in that to your team you know i said hey when we lost that game in double overtime to the kingswood cougars i said hey coach what do we got to do to play them again he said we got to go undefeated i said y'all bought mm -hmm. that let's go I know I'm going to go play and practice getting ready for every game to go undefeated to play, play them again, again. for yeah. the city championship. Right there, it, all jokes aside, that's the mentality that it takes to be an elite athlete. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And and that's what I talk to to the guys all about. And there are certain guys that get that. Mm -hmm. They approach it the right way. They've got their priorities in line, their their details, their focus, their, their uh, little, little things that they do that separate them from all these other elite athletes, mm. that's what gets you to yeah. getting a paycheck at the end of the day. Absolutely. Yeah. Folks, puck drops tomorrow night, mm -hmm. 7 o'clock p.m. Se Ice box. 7 o'clock on Friday, 6 o'clock on Saturday. That's perfect. Jared, the look, you look on your face when you've seen that video, and then you looked at AG, it was like, that's that guy. <laughs> that's that guy. <laughs> Coach Rocky uh, Russo. I should have told him. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Hey, I, I knew he was real walking in. Uh, he, I was, there was a little hint that he was a player. Okay. Uh, hey, players, no. Athletes, no. Game recognized game. Game recognized Folks, game. support of Lincoln Stars tomorrow, 7 p.m. tomorrow at the Icebox, 6 p.m. on Saturday. Let's hope they get this sweep taken care of. They've been taking care of business all year. Coach Russo, appreciate you. Jared, appreciate you. Folks, it's the drive. It's the ticket. We'll be right back in a few minutes. Your business runs like a well-oiled machine. It's important that your actual machines do too. Stern is here to make sure you don't have to worry about that. They provide solutions for heavy equipment and automotive fuels, lubricants, and equipment guard options. And with Stern's commitment to customer service for the past 40 years, you know you have a partner to help support your operations for years to come. Contact Roger at Stern Company by calling 1-800-477-2744 or visit them online at stern.co. Stern Company, where problems meet solvers. Spring sports are here and it's time to upgrade your equipment. But don't go rush into your big box store. Played Against Sports is your place to go for all spring sports equipment for baseball, softball, golf, and disc golf. Played Against Sports has quality, slightly to gently used equipment, and 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And don't forget, buying from them is a great way to get new products with great discounts by also bringing in your used items for store credit or cash on the spot. Played Against Sports at 48th and Vine. It's getting nicer outside, but it's still hit or miss in the spring on golf weather. Not at Double Eagle Golf. You're home for always 72-degree weather with no wind. Book a bay with some friends for a weekend or come by for golf and happy hour on a weekday. Spring leagues are underway, but stay tuned for info on indoor golf tournaments and book your bay for after the spring game in late April. That's all at Double Eagle Golf inside the Kinetic Sports Complex on West O Street. Online at DoubleEagle.Golf. Hey Husker Nation, Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student athletes. 
So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. Load up on me and more this spring at the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese at 84th and Havelock. This week's special through April 23rd is buy one, get one free on 8-ounce flat iron steaks, limit four per visit. Also, buy one, get one 50% off on Montova grilled artichokes. And don't forget about lunch on Fired Up Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Locations at 84th and Havelock and 30th and Yankee Hill in Lincoln or 168th and Maple in Omaha. Get to the Mercado today for the best meat in town. Hi, it's Charlie Stone back with the latest update from Andy Goodyear of Honda of Lincoln. Andy, your new car selection keeps getting better and better every month. Can you tell our listeners all about it? You know, it sure is, Charlie. It's great that our customers can come in, pick out a new Honda, and drive away with it that day. How many new Hondas do you have in stock? Well, right now we have just about 100 in stock. Hey, I hear you've won some very important awards in your service department. Tell us about them. Well, the first one is we won the award for the first fixed award. So the cars are actually fixed on the very first time they're brought in. Second award is our customer service experience award. And then our third award is our Honda Express Service Elite. And we rank the best in quality and customer satisfaction. Maybe it's time you come experience the Honda of Lincoln way of doing business. 27th and Yankee Hill Road or online at HondaOfLincoln.com. If you're in Seward or Milford, listen up. Select Plumbing is now servicing your area with no trip charges from Lincoln. Select Plumbing works on a variety of issues for your home and business, including general plumbing, water heaters, faucet fixture repair, underground sewer and water repairs, backflow testing, and more. Keep your property free from leaks and other issues. Call today for a free estimate, 402-560-6197. It's not just Lincoln, Waverly, and the surrounding area anymore. It's also Seward and Milford with no trip charges. Contact Select Plumbing to inquire at 402 560-6197. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. Alexa, play 93.7 The Ticket. Okay, playing 93.7 The Ticket. Alexa, turn down the lights. Dimming the lights. Alexa, order a pizza, the big one. All the toppings. Are you sure that's a good idea? Alexa. That's a lot of pizza for just one man. Alexa, just do it. Stop judging me, just do it. As you wish. Thanks, Alexa. You're my best friend. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Gray on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. segment with jared and uh coach uh coach russo on there man it's a great time with those guys get out there and support the the lincoln stars at the ice box get again em. puck drops at 7 p.m tomorrow night 6 p.m on saturday and to my understanding nick and i should have asked him this ag and nick and they helped me out with this if you know if they win both waterloo would have to beat them three straight yeah, so, right so it's best of five best of five so it's best of five so yeah. if if the, the stars oh, okay win, best yeah, of five. If, the, if the stars yeah. win you know the first three yeah. They'll, they'll have two. It, it goes two, two, one, one. I believe. Yeah. So uh, Waterloo would, or not Waterloo, Sioux, uh, Sioux Falls, Sioux Falls, Sioux City. Sioux, uh, they, they, they would have to beat them three times. Three times, yeah. So, Well, that was a great something right there. We got some history coming up for you right now, folks. In 1966, but before I even go there in history, before I go there, I'll tell you something, it's history. I get an email this morning, y'all. And it's from Direct TV, and it says, We Email want you, we, we want you back, Aaron. Direct TV. Direct TV. We want you back, Aaron. 
That's what it says, Nick. We that makes you back. feel like a valued customer. Uh, no, <clears throat> it makes you no. feel like a, a a business model that's ah, going on. that's going right. South. I, okay, <laughs> I was wondering where you were going with this. It's I'm a, like, I, I get that too. Yeah, because I was with Direct TV. At yeah, my I'm, AG, I'm still pissed at myself for not leaving them sooner, man. Or oh, cutting the cutting the box yeah, out. Cut the course. You know, when did you, when, when you do the box? What, How long? Six did, months ago, Nick. Really. Probably? You waited been about a year. No, it's been it a year. About, it's been about a year. You think close to a year now? Yeah. Bro, it why'd you wait so long, bro? Dumb. You know when I cut the Just box? Dumb. I cut the box in like 2010. I missed oh the box. Oh my god. I started streaming in like 2010, 2011. My wife, she was the one that that, that wanted the whole ground with the boxes. We had 10 boxes. <laughs> yeah. We had 10, 11 boxes in our home. And, and I saw it was these. it was per month per box for yes. ten dollars. Yes. So you're talking about 120 bucks per Just month for the box. On top of the premium stuff we're yeah. already getting on our networks and bundles or whatever we we're getting. I so I said, babe, babe, okay, you don't get it. This thing now, because it was kind of new then. Yeah. This streaming stuff. So now the apps like Netflix is an app. Yeah. So we don't we still got to do physical discs, but now we could just tune in because the TVs now have Wi-Fi in them. Yeah. And she's They're like, built she, that way now. so for her, cars have Wi-Fi. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, babe, she's like, she just didn't get it. So she was like, no. I don't understand it. I'm not gonna. Do it. I'm like, oh, people, work. people said, just hate change. I said, trust me, trust yeah. me. If it was a bad thing, I would be like, no. Yeah. But mm-hmm. this is a good thing because it's gonna save on space on many levels yeah. in our bank account and on yeah. our shelves, you know, <laughs> <laughs> in our house. Now we could put a plant of roses there or daffodils or something <laughs> instead of paying big extra. Daffodil guy. Big, yeah. Big daffodil there you go. Guy, yeah. And she finally, Love finally, when I daffs. broke it down to her, she got it. She and got it was it. like, all right. No more arguing about it. It Let's took go. me way I, too long. And I appreciate the listeners. Go ahead, Nick. I, I miss cable. I, 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 well, no, no, well, which, no, okay, wait, 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 explain. What Let you talk. Let him talk. I, cable was one of the most exciting times in my, my childhood. Okay. It's a nostalgia because, thing. Because, yeah. because I grew up until about probably age six, 15, 14, uh, probably about 14. Okay. Where the, 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 the highest channel number we had was 23. Facts. We just had basic, just basic as can be. Basic cable, yeah. And it was fine. I, I tell people all the time that's how I got to be a Cubs fan is because the Cubs played on Channel 14, WGN, WGN America. WGN, WGN yeah. America. I grew up watching PBS, yep, which was fine. But then, man, when I was able to get Big Ten Network and when I was able to watch ESPN <laughs> and Disney Channel as a 14 year old. My world was over. Yeah, game change. People, I, and then, and then you know what? I started watching Dog the Bounty Hunter every morning before school on A and E. I remember that show. Every, every morning, I watched it they every had hour hours and hours of Dog the Bounty Hunter yep. on A and E channel forty seven on cable. You remember, you remember him about Dog the Bounty? Oh Hunter? yeah, he, they were, he, they he were in, in Hawaii, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, his wife passed away. Oh, she yeah. did. Oh, passed away a couple ago. of years ago oh, because man. of cancer. Mm. Dog Dwayne is, I, I think, still alive. He looks a little rough. He, he's always looked rough. Yeah. What are you yeah. talking about? He's, yeah, he's rough. scary. Always look hey, rough. Man, he's scary. Yeah. So, yeah, Troy and Lincoln says the Braves were on TBS. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's right. Because it's a Atlanta-based network. Yeah. And it was but, TNT. Man, it was fun. But I had to laugh a little bit when Nick said we only had 23 channels. AG, we <laughs> had we had three, six, seven, and 10, 11 news when I grew up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're Lincoln. Four. I was all. in Cali. I was yeah. in Cali and a little bit here, too. So, yeah, so I get it. Channel I remember, three. I remember when we Friday had enough, you know, to a four cable. Yeah. And I started watching ESPN because I, I figured out this is how I got into watching and learning all sports. Is what one night I stayed up late. About, it was late. It was like three a.m. Mm-hmm. And I'm you know I'm between eight and ten, but it's on a Saturday, and I catch rugby. I'm like, what is Hooked. this? <laughs> I say it looks like football, <laughs> but they can pitch it, but it's, they fumble it, but it's not a fumble. Yeah, right. I'm like, oh, and no and equipment. Then finally, I wake up the next day about twelve. Like that, I was watching some game. They kept pitching it. Laterally, and he's like, "I think you might have been watching rugby, son." I'm like, <laughs> "I'm like, why, why we don't play that here?" They was like, "Well, it's more an international thing, yeah. you know, than American sport." I'm like, "Oh, I, I was, I was big on the Nebraska Westland. Nebraska Westland football reruns were played all yeah. year round really? on Channel 22 or something like really? that. Really? And so nice. you'd just be watching Nebraska, Nebraska Westland <laughs> reruns against Doan and Dort and Morningside. It'd just be, I'd be like, man, yeah. Morningside always gets them. Those good nostalgic endorphins <laughs> releasing. We, we got to do hey, it. We got to do it for hey, ourselves. This golf Jake says, Nick went from Lizzie McGuire to Dog the Bounty Hunter. That's when the boy hey. became the man. <laughs> hey, hey. 
Well, see, see, you notice that, that corresponds with me we, starting to run the we, Amigos at 14. We, that corresponds with it. I, right. I did some growing up to do when I took over the Amigos on 70th and A. Yeah, we could do a whole show on this. <laughs> we could, man. Because I watched so many TV shows that I didn't realize until about age 14, 15 that brought to you was one word. <laughs> oh, is that right? I thought brought to you was one word. Jeez. I paid it. Like, I didn't even watch. I, I listened, but I never looked at the. Even when sometimes it was spelled out, I was so like indoctrinated into yeah. watching Smurfs. Yeah. And when I hear the brought to you by XYZ, whatever. By it was. Pepsi or yeah. whatever. Yeah. I didn't realize that was Three a different sentence. Words. I thought it was a word. And when I saw it one day when I'm 15 back here and I'm watching TV and I see the word and I'm like, how oh, day. Did, did you guys, did what you guys, guys as, as a father? Like, how did I miss that? As as fathers, did you? And I'm a guys, smart. I was smart kid. I was four I was four point kid. I don't know how I missed that. That's the power of programming, though. When you hear right. stuff over and over, operating conditioning, man. Oh, over okay. over. What you got, Nick? As as a as a father, did you guys ever have your kids watch the the Reading Rainbow? Yes, I did. A hundred percent. You know, that's one of the most nostalgic things. Boom. Uh, Reading Rainbow, Rainbow with Levar. Um, yes. Levar Burton. I can do anything. Yep. That was a good. That was take even, a look. What's in, in a book? book. Reading Rainbow. Oh, we're all in <laughs> yeah. all right. We nailed it. Reading <laughs> nailed it. Rainbow. And you know what? That wow. was something even when we were kids, AG. Reading yeah. Rainbow's been around for a long time. Forever. Like, yeah. he's been, like, in, in he's in some Hall of Fame. Yeah. Whatever Hall of Fame of yeah. news anchors or TV show hosts. Yeah, that cat don't age, man. He, <laughs> and he was in Star Trek. Yep. Beyond. Yep. Uh, Star Trek Generations. Yep. yep. That he brother was, always had the little mini. Uh, remember back in the day, it was called the Shag. Remember he had that Shag yep, back in the day? Yeah, he had the Shag. I never shag. did that. I could not rock the Shag. When, shag, when do sorry. you guys think the final episode of yeah. Reading Rainbow was? Ooh, I want to say in, definitely in the 2000s. Yep. I know that. That's all I'm going to say. I can't I really no know idea. it. But I know in the 2000s. It was November 10th, 2006. How long really? did it run? Oh, man. It started in, it had to be the late 70s to all the been. 80s and the yeah. 90s well, obviously yep. all the 90s yeah but continued was... to air reruns until august 28th 2009 okay not only was pbs unable to secure enough funds to cover the costs associated mm -hmm. uh but the show's core for philosophy was challenged as well really the philosophy yeah. it was teaching kids how to read and what to yeah. read I, I, how was the philosophy challenge it was they were not unable to secure funds and the philosophy was challenged the budget is not bad. You got one person. You have, well, you have the host, and you have maybe three, four cameramen and women. Mm -hmm. And you're traveling because he will go to different places. Oh, and yeah. It, was a travel, it pretty much was like a travel show, too. So it could have been brought, bought by Discovery <laughs> Channel because they got travel shows. There you go. What's wrong with the budget of Discovery? I know yeah. they have money. Hey, man. Hey, hey, Ron says LeVar Burton was blind in Star Trek. All that really messed him up. <laughs> <laughs> that was his character. Y'all cold blooded. Y'all cold blooded with that. Was that hey, hey, Ron? Yeah. That's cold blooded. Man, you know that. <laughs> That's not facts. Don't it's, read, kids. It's not facts, but facts. <laughs> Don't read. It's not facts, but facts. Hey, hey, Ron. Put the books down and pick <laughs> see, up the controller. Is, see, this is the, those are guys in the locker room by like hey, hey, Ron. Yeah, right? no. We had guys in the locker room like. <laughs> Make me blind. Like, bro, can you, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. <laughs> AA Ron. <laughs> oh, before we, before we teach that some history, Big Bird says here, and Big Bird, I remember this. How about the national anthem being played late at night before the channel went off the air? Oh, and then dun, TV was over. Wait, that was TV it. was done? Yes. TV was oh, done. At midnight. Done. No way. They played the and national the, anthem and it was pieces. And then it was like either like <laughs> a, it was a, it was a, yes. it was a yes. symbol hey, of a Native American guy yes. on the screen for the rest yeah. of the night on some it? channels, on some channels. On some channels. <laughs> Otherwise, you and just heard a buzz. It was California and when I got back here, it was if it went through the mid 90s and then finally once the 2000s hit, yeah. that's when you had 24 hour, yeah, 24 hour network. News services, etc. It was but, in Ron Jeremy. It was you know, kind of, you know Watch this. Uh, watch number wow. two. Watch number two. Uh, Ron Jerry part two. Okay. Or Anchorman part two. Yeah. Where they go into twenty four hour television. So it, they, <laughs> in the mid eighties, it's hilarious. If that you, is that is wild. National anthem what came on. TV thought. was over. Yes. It just it popped done. in my head. What a foreign thought. We'll of, see at six of, in the morning. There's just no TV. Nope. It was over. TV was. Oh, it ended. Yeah. Dang. Unfathomable to us today. So you basically had to go to bed. <laughs> hey, G, what you got? It is today? not for history. Today. What you got? I, I got 30 years to go. Uh, <laughs> it was to go. Sorry. easy, AG. <laughs> Sorry. 30 years ago, 1994, Super Metroid. 
came out from a video game standpoint, Super Metroid. You remember oh, Metroid? I have never heard <gasps> of it. You never heard of Metroid? Never. No. Not in the Super. What? No. Oh my God. When did that come out? Ninety four. You were here winning the national title, bro. I know, but I didn't. You probably wasn't playing it, which is good. You didn't. You didn't no. be playing it. So that was on a uh, PlayStation console. That, no, PlayStation wasn't even around no, then. Next year was PlayStation ninety five. Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo. Um, Samus is the main character. They have mm. games still out today, and uh, playing high and tight. And so, from an esports standpoint, esports. Not too long ago, twenty nineteen. A game called Levelhead was released on PC and Fortnite and its major esports e tournaments, the Fortnite World Cup 2019, mm -hmm. which raised a prize pool of $100 million. What's Fortnite? And, and had over 2 million spectators <laughs> worldwide. What'd you say, Nick? You said, What's Fortnite? What's Fortnite? You better not say yeah, that right now. Fortnite is. Oh, I know Fortnite. <laughs> what to say? Oh, I know let Fortnite. Tell, let me tell you, Fortnite knows me. Yeah, very well. A lot of us. Yeah, Fortnite a lot knows of me. Us. Yes. Not as well as the movie The Show knows me, but the movie everybody knows me. Hey, we got to play. You got you got the new one, right? You got the new I one. I got the new one. Yeah, I got to download it. You got on Xbox or PlayStation? PlayStation on. Hey, Twizzlers, I do remember that. Remember when you could watch guys selling sports cards late at night? They would sell yeah, cards. They still have that. Yeah, I think they still they got have that on uh, I, I just, uh, Instagram. So, and so what's funny is, is I just downloaded an app that I you can, you can buy sports memorabilia mm -hmm. online. And so, like, literally, I'll show you guys right here. So there's somebody that I can go in. Is that there. what the what the what's not what not what not? I work. I play. Mm. Yep, yep. And so I and I can. I'm gonna get back can, going. You again can on bid it. on it if you want sports cards. If you want sports memorabilia. Oh, wow. There's bobbleheads. It's called what not. It's called no, what not. What not. Yep. Yeah, if you want, you got. Oh, stuff how about to sell? this? They're selling a Wandell Robinson card. Ooh. A Wandell Robinson card is at our auction. So immaculate, you... immaculate player break four of four. Wandale Robinson, it's going for at least $21 right so, now. So, yeah, you can go in there and sell anything. Yeah. So, just well, like whatnot. you see real stores, like go into the mall. Yeah. Remember the mall? Yeah. <laughs> you remember yeah. the mall? Yeah, archaic. Um, it's like it's a just mall. Like, so, whatnot is just like a mall. So, sports cards, jewelry, mm. sneaker heads, so shoes, T-shirts, hoodies, hats. I'm about to check that out. out. Check it what out. Whatnot. Whatnot. Because I, I, I'm going to I'll say we kind of segue into this summer when school's out here. I think I'm gonna get my whatnot channel going again because I was selling when we moved. I was mm -hmm. selling a lot of my shoes I wasn't wearing, so a lot yeah. of Jordans were getting sold. So mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a whatnot Jordan seller on there. I'm gonna check that yeah. out. So yeah, if you got stuff you want to move. It's interesting. There's like big hell that they they're selling NFL helmets and all that. Too. Dude, we could make partnership with them. We could sell stuff on this. We should do that. Idea. Ding, I'm ding, down ding, with that. Ding, ding, ding. Well, folks, that was their history. Disc golf. Jay says, uh, "A A Ron says, my bad, A G. I think Lavar's okay now." <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. It's just, I know it's a joke. No, no, no apology needed. It's this, good. I know. It's, I know you're joking. Yeah, man. he's laughing too. Under Disc golf, Jake says one of the best parts of Dad Life is showing him old cartoons. Thundercats, yes, was. Oh my God, Thunder was quickly shut down. Thunder. My mom, Oliver, kept Thunder running around yelling, "Thundercats!" Oh. <laughs> yeah, like I said, we could do a whole show. On oh, this. we could, man. Oh, my goodness. Folks, when we come back, we're talking recruiting. We're talking the number of schools and places that Nebraska Coach Rule and team have been, staff have been. How does the contrast compare to others around the country? We'll discuss that when we come back. And is it being fruitful? We shall see. It's the drive on this Thursday morning, 93.7, the ticket. We'll be right back. Nutrition Authority invites you to try Anarchy, which is an exciting free workout for athletes and fitness enthusiasts who want the most out of the workout. Anarchy can only be found at Nutrition Authority. Remember, when you want results, the solution is simple. Nutrition Authority. Stop in, call, or check us out at MyNutritionAuthority.com. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Grab a free burger and beer at L.A. Power Sports of Lincoln on April 27th during their Husker Spring Game Tailgate. Meet the L.A. Power Sports team, play some tailgate games with them, and enter for a chance to win an official John Elway autographed football. Check out their huge selection of boats and watercraft for the summer, along with hundreds of motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-sides from all the major brands. Stop out and watch the game with them on April 27th. L.A. Power Sports of Lincoln, 27th and I-80. They'll be tailgating all day. 
Jake Sorensen here for The Body Shop. My wife is nearing her due date with our first child and has been in need of a good massage as her body continues to change and adapt. Dennis and the team at The Body Shop were incredible with the prenatal massage that she's still talking about today. I was also able to get a deep tissue massage, so it was a great bonding experience and a unique couple's massage in general. If you're in need of stress relief, book a massage today at thebodyshoplincoln.com, The Body Shop at 48th and A. Are you tired of living in pain? It's time to take control. At Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery, we're your one-stop shop for expert care in Lincoln. From broken bones to complex reconstruction, our skilled team will help you get back on track. Visit prairieortho.com today and discover why we're the trusted choice for thousands of patients. Don't let pain hold you back. Take the first step towards a better pain-free life with Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery where healing begins. Call 402-489-4700. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in April. Try their brand new cake batter cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. And try the caramel latte as 10% of proceeds from that drink will go to the foundation for Lincoln Public Schools. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. Spring is here, and Acres is offering special financing on select new John Deere lawn tractors and zero-turn mowers. Visit your nearest Acres store and test drive all the latest John Deere turf equipment and attachments. And for a limited time, with the purchase of a new John Deere mower, get up to $200 to apply to the steel power tool of your choice. From trimmers to chainsaws, gas, or electric, Acres is your home for steel products and service. Offer expires April 30, 2024. Subject to approved credit by John Deere Financial. Landmark Implement is your local authorized John Deere dealer. Landmark's trained and certified sales staff will help you find the right equipment for your needs at a price that's right for you, all backed by Landmark's extensive parts and service network. Whether it's a tractor, planter, combine, an easy track lawnmower, or gator, every piece of equipment in pre-owned inventory is put through a rigorous inspection so it's ready to work hard for you. Landmark's team works together to make sure everything is sold meets their quality standards. Learn more at LandmarkImp.com or stop into a local Landmark location and experience the Landmark difference. Okay, it's time to sell the house. How do we even begin to choose from the hundreds of realtors in town? Easy. We make a pros list. You mean a pros and cons list? No, just a pros list. We need someone with pro photography to showcase the house in the best possible way. Pro marketing to make sure we get maximum exposure. Pro negotiations so we know we get the best price. This is one of those times where you already know the right answer, isn't it? You know it is. Ben Blecker and Professional Realty Group. Contact Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Services Ambassador online at prg-ne.com. Rosie Sports Bar and Grill. Open for lunch and dinner at 1501 Center Park Road. Community means something different to everyone. But for me, it means cheering on those around you during the good times and helping them out during the tough times. I'm softball player Jordy Ball, and I've been blessed with the support of my friends, family, coaches, and community throughout my life. When looking for a bank to call home, it was easy to choose Midwest Bank. I never feel like just another customer, and they're proud to support their communities. They love what they do, and it shows. Your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. If you want to make new floor shopping easier, come to Street Carpet. Hi, I'm Steve Carper. Our flooring professionals can help you choose the best flooring for you, your family, and your budget. We eliminate the confusion. Even better, you'll be enjoying your new flooring much sooner. No six or eight week waits. We'll install right away and save you money on installation. Floor shopping made easy every day at O Street Carpet. O Street Carpet. 1732 O Street. Family owned and operated. Always the best value. For over 15 years, Integrated Life Choices has empowered individuals with disabilities in Lincoln and throughout Nebraska. They provide comprehensive services from group homes and independent living services to job training, ensuring fulfilling lives for those that they serve. Now, they're inviting you to join their mission. If you are passionate about making a difference in the lives of people with developmental disabilities, explore rewarding career opportunities with them. Learn more about their services and apply today at www.ilc.net. Be a part of Integrated Life Choices, where your work truly changes lives. 
93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your Lincoln forecast for today. We'll see a chance of showers this morning, then partly sunny skies this afternoon. It will be breezy, too, with the high around 58. Tonight, we'll see increasing clouds and the low around 35. And tomorrow, mainly cloudy skies expected with an afternoon high around 59. I'm meteorologist Kyle Bucker for 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Welcome to The Drive with A.D. Raff and Amon Gray. Former Husker football national champion, speaker, and author, Aaron Davis. Nebraska will win the national championship. The Cornhuskers beat Miami. It is history, 13-0, and bring that trophy back to Lincoln. Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush, and guru of Husker football history, Chris Rapp. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches college football history we may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight 12 year nfl veteran he's got some speed to go with strength huskers and green bay packers hall of famer shovel pass to green into vikings territory finally brought down and university of nebraska esports coach amon green look at green all by himself 20 Sponsored by Doors Plus on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Man. My man Nick, man, is giving Rico the business. He's wants well, him to go spit shine his car in the train outside. That's not what I said. All I asked him was, I said, hey, can you go try it out? <laughs> And then you said spit shine it with I your... I did not. And he said that. He spit, said, spit I'll spit shine the rims. Spit shine the rims for you. <laughs> but by the way, quick shout out to David from Renew. Man. Oh they, my they tinted your windows up nice. I was they, on the airplane looking at that yesterday. They, they look incredible. I'm looking at it out there right now. Yeah. It's nice, man. They look incredible. Are you going to get customized plates? No. People were trying to tell me that I should get like swim plates. <laughs> like big swim plates. <laughs> <laughs> People were saying that earlier. I I don't think I'm going Here's to. Here's why it. I don't like customized plates. You already pay enough. Why would yeah. I pay more? Yeah. No, like, not the, doing the, it. Nebraska's got so, like some not cooler designs in terms of like license plate. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to pay an extra 27 bucks no. to get the new ones. No, I'm not Maybe they're even that. like 50 by now, probably, because everything's so expensive. And here I, I am, says the guy that was paying for freaking, um, um, was it uh, direct TV yeah. for all those years? I'm just, <laughs> I'm just ready to get the in transit. I'm just ready to get the in transit sticker off. I mean, I found out I'll right away know. about streaming apps and all that. I said, we out. <laughs> I said we start We're turning. I, I was so happy. We're done. It was like it was playing like Be Beethoven's Fifth while I was disconnecting <laughs> the boxes. Get out of here, box! I don't have to. We have done. you in my house no more. We're done. Go. <laughs> Leave. Don't return. You know, you guys. Coach Rule said something interesting uh, earlier about. Uh, the the tampering that goes on it goes to the recruiting the portal open etc and there was an interesting article in the USA Today uh, talking about coach rules um, methodology uh, in coaching you guys let me ask you this listeners chime in how often do you guys think tampering takes place because coach rule made a comment and there were people I looked on Twitter and online that were saying hey drop some names drop some names to where coach rules said that um, players would come in and say coach look at this and it'd obviously be a text or something from another program mm -hmm. uh, reaching out to a player on our roster. Right. I'm not saying it just happens, you know, happens, you know, happened to our kids. I know, in my opinion, I think it happens way too much. You know, I, I don't think we're all that, no one's that naive. I think it's not. 100%. AG, and then you look at the NCA guys yesterday. I don't know if you've seen that yesterday. They allowed for basically unlimited transfers. Am I right or wrong on that? Name? They did. They unlimited. Did. AG. So what do you mean by this? They can transfer so, every year if they wanted to. Oh. If if they have good academic at, standing at their previous stop. Okay, now, okay. I'm okay with that part of it. You I, left that out. Yes. They if they're good in academic standings, they can transfer as many times as they want. Okay, so that means you gotta have a three point or above. And I don't know what that, I don't know what that what their what their well, criteria is for. It's three point oh well. It, 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 whether, know, it's a whether it's a two point five no, or a three point oh. No, high. They said high academic. They, they said good standings. Good standings, good standings is three point oh for a D one athlete. 
I think that rule, and I know Jay uh, on old school, Jay and on Austin were talking about it yesterday too. I hate it. Um, regard because think about this, AG, in a year. How do we even know what a program is really gonna be like in the year? Rico look at Rico? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Finish what you were saying. Hold your composure, AD. Finish what you were gonna say. We have the little guy, Rico, my man Rico. Guy. Rico over there lighting people up. Hey. It is what you're going to say, bro. I, I, it's a good topic, good question. I don't. Come on, bring it Things in. Things like that will make you transfer quickly. Reel really it in. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm transferring. Reel it in. I'm out. I'm out. I'm good academic study. Reel it in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's I go. don't like how you could just leave unlimited like that, man. I mean, mm. it's almost like the NCAA coming back because they know they already uh, fumbled the bag and they jumbled this whole transfer portal thing up from the get-go. They jumbled up and messed up the NIL thing from the get-go. And it's like, yes. We're going to come back with this one, but we got to see you have good academic standing. It's kind of like they're trying to save face. Yeah. I, I think what we've, what the adults in the room have done to college sports to me is despicable. I, I truly feel that way. I, we, we have, we have created a monster in the genies out of the box, out of the bottle. The toothpaste is out of the tube. Good luck putting it back in there because it's out there. So now you tell a kid that you can leave any time. You can leave as many times you want. What have we done, y'all? So what? This has been what? Transfer portal has been around four or five years now. No, two. Or two. This is second year going to portal. Okay, so this is still. Oh my gosh, I can't even. Tell okay, we'll like, say if it's yeah. two. Yeah. You gotta think about it. Building the, changing guidelines, building the business. Two years, so this is still infancy, toddler stages of understanding. And I said this a long time ago mm -hmm. when I was in Wisconsin. I found out about transfer portal and NIL coming. That was coming. And I said, one, like I always said, and I even said it here, it's all about adjustment, right? For mm -hmm. the college, mm -hmm. for the coaches, for the programs, right? Sports, Everybody. no matter the sport. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just more of that going on here, more adjustments to the point to where, for now, the athlete, like I just said before we came on, this, or I was saying just now, you got to have that great point. So that's them. When I say them now, the NCAA is just still trying to get their footing in this whole new world mm -hmm. of transfer portal and NIL to understand how we're going to one discipline this, how we're going to regulate this. So this is them regulating in a way saying, okay, now only kids that have 3.0s or higher will do this. Cause you got 2.5, 1.5s, then they're going to struggle again. They're going to, their grade point average is going to drop even lower because of the move, I, you I, know, going from college to college, state to state. I, I think, to, I mean, to, to AD's point also, it's kind of been like an avalanche, right? And to build off of what you said, AG, mm -hmm. it's in its infancy. Still. There's been so many updates and changes mm -hmm. and and drastic ones at that that it kind of feels like an avalanche, that it's all just hitting college sports in the blink of an eye. It, it feels like every month there's new things, whether it's an injunction where you're not getting into the NIL, whether it's mm -hmm. this where you can transfer as many times, whether it's COVID seasons, whatever it is, it just feels like it all hit college athletics all at once and you're just buried from out under it and you don't really know which way to turn which way to make it right. better which way to really improve and what the problem of that is that avalanche feel is because the people in the room at the ncaa who are making these decisions to probably be honest and they're you know with themselves they didn't know what to do which is okay well then as they long as you're honest they, about it they admitted that they didn't want anything to do with it but then you don't you that can't, was the but problem. that's what i'm saying you can't do that as a parent crazy yeah. you know you're running, you're running, the, you're governing body of all the institutions in America. You can't just say, oh, yeah. we're not going to touch this. Less than, less than a year ago, Charlie Baker, the right. NCAA president, was like, yeah, you know what? I like, we don't really want to have to monitor how many times somebody transfers. Here's the, you can't say you don't want to do your job. Right, when you're exactly. the job. 100%. I'm and, with you and, there, Nick. And here's the problem with Baker making that statement. The NCAA has become a rubber stamp. They have lost a lot of their credibility. They have lost yeah. a lot of their legislation I, I, I ability. You, yeah. I hear you. Because yeah. think about this, you guys. In January, the U.S. Department of Justice joined the lawsuit against the NCAA's transfer rules, a suit that argues that the limitations of transfers violate antitrust laws. According to the minute complaint for injunction relief filed in January, the NCAA's transfer bylaw unjustifiably restrains the ability of these college athletes to engage in the market for their labor as NCAA Division I uh, college athletes. Look at that point right there. If the NCAA would have came out years ago when they knew these things were coming out, they could have met, they could have knocked this in the butt, at least had some guidelines there 
for schools. You got compliance officers don't even know what's compliant anymore. Yeah. Because it's changed so much. It's become like a tax law, of course, yeah. and right now. College football's 15-day transfer window is open right now. Closes on April 30th. Okay. And we all know what that means. They don't have to find their new schools by then. They can also go back to their other schools for the remain there. Now, things, here's the thing about that, AG. Let's say they don't get picked by anybody else. Right. Well, their scholarship here could be taken away, and then they're left out limbo. We have done – here's the thing. My but that's a risk, though. That's the risk that the player risk. has to take knowing it, it, they want to change. It is. If this is about academics, if we truly say this is about academics, which we know this is not no longer about no, academics. Yeah, not. This, this is about money. It's nice money. to say. It, exactly. It, it's a nice, it's a nice uh, olive branch to throw out there, a safe face. You can say this is about academics. No, it's not. It's things like this that have jumbled up and diluted college athletics as we know it, man. And it's their job to fix it, though. Exactly. But they don't want to do their job. They can't. Yeah, that's that's just they, we're that's a Bush, mess. That's and, Bush League. And, and it's also, a mess. That's and also cool. to the point of of you guys saying, you know, you you uh, an athlete might be held out in limbo. Well, who's telling them to enter the portal? So it might not be the same adults talking, but to it's them. still Tell, adults. But it's still adults. It's yeah, still one hundred percent. So whether, whether, whether it's whether it's parents or want to be mentors or, or somebody whatever from the other is. school that wants them. now. Now certainly right. there are some situations where transfer portal is the best option. Transfer portal is the the uh the most uh realistic outcome of like all right this guy's career is not working here let's find out a spot for him to go and, and really yeah. produce yeah or we're about to lose a staff exactly, whole staff's going, exactly. not coming back from, so yes. he's a senior and has potential but, go somewhere else but i would almost argue that half if not quite a bit more are getting bad advice and then you pair that bad advice with you know multiply it by two thousand people and there's 2,000 people in the portal. 100%. And good. there's 190 other people that are built the same exact way as you. You struggle to figure out a way to set, you know, set yourself apart from the rest. Mm -hmm. So then with all of that, on top of it, you now have a group of leaders, the governing body of college football, mm -hmm. that, and, and more specifically college football, but the entire college athletics that say, hey, you know what? We don't really want to have to monitor no, you this one and you, and you can't say that. It's, it's, exactly. lazy, it's laziness, you, exactly. from, it's laziness from you start can't. to finish. I mean, you got an organization that been around, what, 100 some years in terms of the NCAA? Totally right? been around. A long time, forever. right? You can't say those. Are, this is common sense stuff. And really, it's not a problem that is like not insurmountable. This is a problem that if you just sit down for a solid week with the people that are in the that need yeah. to be in the room to make the solid decisions. 1906 was established. Yeah, so over 20, so over 100 years now. Mm -hmm. You have the people in the room that that really make the decisions, and you sit down for a week, you could knock this out. You could correct most of the problems. Not all, but most. And, but now in a I, week's time. But now I also think that it's gonna be okay. So now you're gonna give the the athletes, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? Unlimited. The athletes unlimited you know opportunities and now you're going to take it away like that's that's now now they've dug themselves into deep of, too deep of a hole to come out of and that's where my avalanche analogy yeah, came back into it no, was it. because now if if yeah. what they should do if the if the leaders in the governing body goes and meets it's going to be well just last week you were ready to give them the keys to the entire car but now you're not even willing to let them drive yeah. with you in the car so so it's it's they're the the free the limit that you're going to limit it's going to look like you're limiting people's options. The Virginia Pirate, I agree with you 100%. He goes, NSA lost their credibility way before the portal stuff. This is just For people facts. taking advantage yeah. of their inability to manage NSA effectively. I, Virginia Pirate, can't, we can't agree with that. We were products of it, AD. We were. In we terms really of college were. football. Yes. Nobody could be crowned a number one. No one. Back in the 90s. Yeah, they couldn't decide it. And it took them up until, and they still fumbling it. Now yeah. just having 12 teams yeah. to the FBS playoff. Yeah. So it's somebody in that organization, I don't know if it's multiple headquarters around the U.S., if it's just one main one, somebody need to step up and be like, hey, we, we need to stop this. Yeah. It, it's, and this this is common sense. Yeah, We got to set a, a, a guideline that goes across America because yeah. then these young adults that are doing the transferring will give them a better foundation Absolutely. to understand to then why they need to transfer before they yep. make a before decision. Before they make that too. decision. So educated it's, decision. it's that easy, but it's just, so, as my mom used to say, so many chiefs in the room. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, nobody's not taking control or taking the lead. Basically. It's a mess right now, man. It is an absolute quagmire mess. Folks, when we come back, we'll talk some more football. We'll talk some more recruiting, but also a big, a major uh, ban that took place in the NBA yesterday. We'll talk about that as well. It's Thursday. It's a little rainy, a little cloudy, but you're up. You're rolling. And we're going to keep rolling, too. It's the drive. 9.7 to take it.
You can get diesel anywhere, but what about atomic diesel? That comes from Stern. Atomic Diesel is your solution to all your cold weather problems. Prevent clogged fuel filters, increase your fuel economy, and save money with Atomic Diesel. Contact Roger at Stern today by calling 1-800-477-2744 to see how Atomic Diesel and the rest of their line of fuels and lubricants can keep your operation running at max capacity. At Fairway Meat Market, your family, and as part of the family, they want to save you money on your meat and groceries. Now, through April 14th, enjoy USDA Choice Flat Iron Steaks for $9.99 per pound, all-natural, boneless, skinless chicken breast for $2.98 per pound, Duroc Pork Tenderloin for $3.99 per pound, and 4-ounce lobster tails for $6.99 each. That's all at Fairway Meat Market in the Rockledge Square Shopping Center, just south of 84th and Van Dorn. Hi, I'm Senator Bo Ballard. I was born and raised in Lancaster County, learning the value of hard work and grit at a young age. I built my own company, creating jobs right here in our community. I know that families and businesses in our community need lower taxes, lower cost of health care, and a great education. That's why as your senator, I helped pass the largest tax cut and made the most significant investment in education in Nebraska history and worked to reduce the cost of health care. I'm Senator Bo Ballard, and I humbly ask for your vote on May 14th. Paid for by Ballard for Nebraska. Here you go. Coffee's on me and my new BFF. I thought I was your best friend forever. BFF like best financial friend at Members Own Credit Union. Right now, they're offering $100 when you consolidate or transfer a loan or an existing credit card balance and meet requirements. Plus, you get great rates and free advice from a financial partner that will put you first. That sounds like a match made in heaven. Members Own Credit Union is the type of bestie you can count on. Get started today at MembersOwnCU.org slash BFF. Limitations may apply. Equal housing opportunity. At Fairway Meat Market, your family, and as part of the family, they want to save you money on your meat and groceries. Now, through April 14th, enjoy USDA Choice Flat Iron Steaks for $9.99 per pound, all natural, boneless, skinless chicken breast for $2.98 per pound, Duroc Pork Tenderloin for $3.99 per pound, and four ounce lobster tails for $6.99 each. That's all at Fairway Meat Market in the Rockledge Square Shopping Center, just south of 84th and Van Dorn. Grab a free burger and beer at L.A. Power Sports of Lincoln on April 27th during their Husker Spring Game Tailgate. Meet the L.A. Power Sports team, play some tailgate games with them, and enter for a chance to win an official John Elway autographed football. Check out their huge selection of boats and watercraft for the summer, along with hundreds of motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-sides from all the major brands. Stop out and watch the game with them on April 27th. L.A. Power Sports of Lincoln, 27th and I-80. They'll be tailgating all day. Step into healing at Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery. Our team of top-notch medical professionals turns pain into progress with state-of-the-art treatments and compassionate care. Visit prairieortho.com and discover the difference in quality orthopedic and plastic surgery services tailored to your unique needs. Your health matters and Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery is dedicated to helping you thrive. Reach your full potential. Embrace a better tomorrow with Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery. Jake Sorensen here for The Body Shop. My wife is nearing her due date with our first child and has been in need of a good massage as her body continues to change and adapt. Dennis and the team at The Body Shop were incredible with the prenatal massage that she's still talking about today. I was also able to get a deep tissue massage, so it was a great bonding experience and a unique couple's massage in general. If you're in need of stress relief, book a massage today at thebodyshoplincoln.com, The Body Shop at 48th and A. Are you looking to get into the electrical construction industry or wanting a new scene? The Electrical Workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Go hog wild barbecue. If the week's been too hectic to even think about dinner, or your family can't handle one more night of leftovers, then it's time to let Hogwild do the cooking. Hogwild's family packs are one heck of a good deal for a complete barbecue meal loaded with all the smoked meats, tasty sides, buns, and sauces you need to feed your family. Order online at GoHogWild.com. Hogwild Pit Barbecue, 3210 Cornhusker Highway in Lincoln. But don't be late, we close at 8. 
Load up on me and more this spring at the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese at 84th and Havelock. This week's special through April 23rd is buy one, get one free on 8-ounce flat iron steaks, limit four per visit. Also, buy one, get one 50% off on Montova grilled artichokes. And don't forget about lunch on Fired Up Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Locations at 84th and Havelock and 30th and Yankee Hill in Lincoln or 168th and Maple in Omaha. Get to the Mercado today for the best meat in town. Empower a child today with the Teammates Mentoring Program. Hope is only a conversation away when you choose to share your talent, time, and heart with a child. Together, you can build a relationship based on strengths and chart a brighter future one week at a time. Find out how you can be a mentor by visiting LincolnTeammates.org. Become what you needed as a kid by joining the Teammates Mentoring Program today. At Union Bank, people don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car in your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Perch Merch is your one-stop shop for all your printing and promotional needs in Lincoln, Nebraska. They specialize in screen printing, embroidery, vehicle wraps, window wraps, print collateral, promotional products, and signage. At Perch Merch, they are committed to delivering high-quality products and exceptional customer service. Their experienced team of designers and printing professionals will work with you every step of the way to ensure that your vision is realized. Call for a quote today at 402-217-5212 or go to perch-merch.com. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raf, and Amon Green on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Three point seven, the drive. My man, Ad Nick Raph is uh, no rap MIA today. right now, no, no and myself, today. Amon Green here, and having a good talk <laughs> off mic. But we about to get into some interesting NBA news for my man, Jonte Porter here. Ad, hey man, Jonte, you guys, why he 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 lost his NBA career for twenty grand. Right, that's, twenty thousand dollars. Oh, it wasn't the seventy six. So that was the amount of money that he won. Oh, his results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The result. He won a total of twenty one thousand nine sixty five. And he was getting paid a little over two and a half million. Right. Facts. And he threw away his NBA career for life Facts. for that twenty grand, which I, don't get well, it. I would probably put money on, but that's that he doesn't have that twenty grand anymore. Here's the deal. Yeah, it's, it's smallest tough. It's bet. Sad. It's tough. It is the smallest bet was fifteen dollars. Yes. Largest bet was twenty two thousand. Net winnings twenty one thousand nine hundred and sixty five dollars. Porter never bet on games he played, but he did bet on the Raptors to lose. Think about that. You guys, yeah. is this more egregious than Jim Rose? What's Jim Rose? Fill me in. Pete Rose. Pete Rose. Oh, Pete, not Jim Rose. Pete Rose. Oh, Jim Rose from say. Lincoln. Not Jim Rose here in Lincoln. <laughs> I'm like, oh, JP, I'm like, like, yeah, fill me up. Uh, Pete Rose. Because Pete didn't he. Like bet on the Reds to lose or win, or his team to win. Yeah, he, he, remind uh, me. There was it was it was all positive results. Yeah, he he bet for, on his team to yes. win and they won. Yeah. So I would say this. I say they're both in the same neighborhood. They're just a couple blocks down from each other. Yeah. A couple doors down. Yeah. From same each other. district. So it's the same same, it's the same neighborhood. So it's not good because it's betting on your profession mm-hmm. while you're playing. 
Um, so like I said, just a different, I say category, but same level to me. Yeah, this is unfortunate well, for Pete. You, I would say and, and for Jante here. I would say that this is even a little bit more serious. Yeah. Um, I'm one of those that thinks Pete Rose should be fine. Um, I'll start with that. Mm -hmm. Number two, Jante, what he did, it's a little bit more egregious. Um, we're talking, he was telling well known betters. That, he wasn't hey, going to play. Hey, I'm not playing tonight. It hasn't yeah, been so announced. He, yeah, he took it to a different level. So yeah. Taking it to a little bit of a different level. <laughs> he was given the scout of, report. <laughs> you know, re regarding confidential health information. Um, he was letting people know about it before. Yeah, which is, which is a no no. Yeah, very much so. So then before the lines would drop, um, the, that's the biggest reason is because if he tells them eight hours before the game and the Raptors or whoever doesn't make it public until three hours before tip off. Well, then the professional betters, the guys that sit there and and pay attention to the lines nonstop 24 seven are able to get the the lines at a better uh, ROI potential return um, or payment return uh, than than they would if if their star players not playing. Right. Well, here, so you, here you know go. that here you got here. The Leeds investigation found that prior to the Raptors March 20th game, Porter disclosed confidential information about his own health status to an individual he knew to be an NBA better. Um, another individual with whom Porter associated with knew to be an NBA better subsequently placed an $80,000 parlay pro proposition that with an online sports book to win 1.1 million wagering that Porter would underperform in the March 20th game, a game in which the better knew that he wasn't going to play. I, yeah. I'm also he, just fascinated. Of he was like, giving tips. How, yeah. many, how many of these investigations or discoveries have to become public for people to be smarter about it? Like what? Why are you doing it online? Like that's yeah, there's that, paper trails. Like, I mean, here's it, the thing. Like, I, I, I'm not saying to like. You think people would be smarter? Correct. I mean, because and it's, it's like th these people just think they're invincible. And and once again, it's like, okay, you won twenty grand, yeah. twenty one grand officially. That's great. What about your two point three million dollars salary that you. But don't it get? just said be so. About your NBA career that you don't get to continue. So this to me is a foundation level. Because you think a, a foundation of beliefs about what you do as a pro comes in before you even fathom. That's a good yeah. point. Doing so, so this is a, a foundation level for where he grew up. That wasn't somewhere put in and like scarred into his brain. Don't do this. But you know his brother's doing just fine. Right, but but to your point, it's a, it, it was a character flaw. It's a character flaw. Yeah. You cannot because yeah. it was things about myself growing up that were between my parents, my two older brothers and older sister, that by the time, before I even got to high school, mm. I knew were no fly zones. Yeah. yeah. Between, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm a physical athlete, you know, track, football, basketball, steroids, right? Oh, just thinking about them, I felt guilty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My brother said, if we find out that you do something like this, yeah, it's a wrap. You got you to gotta come talk to us. Yeah. Yeah, and you, uh, no. and you feared that. Right. You feared that. And then once I got drafted and, like, learning, going to team league meetings, sitting in meetings with my team, and there was an NFL official there talking about betting and all that. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think rookie back to, to the and 80s. So. Yeah, the rookie symposium on it. Thinking back to our 19, to the 80s with Art Sleester, the quarterback for the Colts. And, and then knowing what I knew about Pete Rose at that time, and it's like, if it affects, because for one, look, I look at it as, look, I'm a team player, so that means I'm without my team because if mm -hmm. I do something like this, players that depend on me i'm right, gone because right. i'm suspended indefinitely or right it's it's maybe a time i'm suspended for a whole year at least, at least. Mm -hmm. and i don't want to put my that's, yeah. i don't want to put myself in that situation right. so it's like you got to think about that stuff yeah because you're not going and then that, then on top of that you're affecting your team your your family name yeah yeah you know he has a brother that's in the league now plays for the denver so, so you know, he's all that's gonna yeah. be associated with that you yeah. know it just it sucks and yeah. so you gotta really understand like you said character fall did not learn at a certain age or did not learn as an adult. Yeah. But he's yeah. going to learn now, unfortunately. You you look at this. I mean, like you said, his career is done. And maybe not even be allowed in a in a, an arena as yeah. far right. as that goes. You got to have his own basketball court. Before, yeah. Before in we go to the backyard. <laughs> yeah, in the crib. Right. Before we go to break, one of the Virginia plates, Virginia Pirate, man, I appreciate you sending this. And we'll discuss a little bit more when we come back. If we get enough time, if not, we'll bring it tomorrow. Because Virginia Pirate, that's a great point. I have a sports administration master's. Got it seven years ago. It surprised me that in those classes, the teachers were basically openly discussing how the NCAA has lost control. The problem the NCAA really has now is these big power five schools can dictate terms, which you're exactly right, part of the, because the NCAA has done such a poor job. If they do something the big boys don't like, they're at risk of losing these big programs, just breaking away from the NCAA entirely. 
they really don't have a ground to stand on. Mm. Virginia Pirate, you are spot on, brother. That should be an op-ed somewhere because you nailed it. You nailed it. Folks, we'll be right back with the last segment. We'll have the uh, RGT. We'll think of something for an RGT or something like that, man, for Rav's good take. I do appreciate you, Rav, for giving the RGT to Naya for her birthday yesterday. She definitely appreciated that. Uh, we listened to it last mm-hmm. night. She came by the house for a little bit, so definitely appreciate that, my man. We'll be right back, folks. It's Thursday. It's The Drive, 93.7 a ticket. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Highball Bar in downtown Lincoln is open and located just north of 11th and O Street. Highball Bar offers a vibe and atmosphere like no other, making it the perfect place to grab a drink or beverage before kickoff on April 27th. Not heading downtown for the spring game? Visit the Highball Bar for daily specials, live music, and much more. Spend your spring game Saturday just north of 11th and O and within walking distance of Memorial Stadium at the Highball Bar in downtown Lincoln. Hi, Sean Callahan here for Couple Chevrolet GMC, and our annual spring sales event is now underway. We have absolutely huge savings right now at Couple. New Sierras and new Silverados have a double whammy. Choose from APR starting at 1.9% or discounts over 9,000. Yes, that's right, 1.9% APR or discounts of over 9,000. So please take that short money saving drive down 144th Street just south of the interstate or check us out online at couplecars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with approved credit. Rico here with HIS Auto Care at 70th and Van Dorn, letting you know HIS is a great place to bring your vehicle for service. With superior service, bumper to bumper, we'll treat your vehicle like it's your mother's. Doesn't get any better than that. So call 402-488-8934 and HIS Auto will make you glad you did. 5% off, mention this ad, and for sure your mother be proud you called. 402-488-8934, HIS Auto Care. 7th and Van Doren. God bless you. With the Planet Fitness Black Card, you don't just get a great workout, you get a great perk out. Because your membership is packed with perks. For $1 down and $24.99 a month, you'll get perks like access to any of our 2,400 clean and spacious locations. Bring your friend anytime and both work out with tons of equipment that'll give you that big fitness energy. Relax in the Black Card Spa and more. Work out and perk out with the PF Black Card. Join for just $1 down and $24.99 a month. Hurry. This deal ends soon. See Home Club for details. Nutrition Authority invites you to save 35 to 75% off at the Spring Mega Sale. We're taking our better than internet prices and cutting them even deeper, bringing you the biggest sale of the season. Monday, April 15th through Saturday, April 20th, the Spring Mega Sale is on at Nutrition Authority. For location information, check us out at MyNutritionAuthority.com. Your child was embarrassed when you arrived at their basketball game. 75% of parents or guardians report current alcohol use. Drinking alcohol can cause harm to children and loved ones. By drinking less, your child will be excited to see you at their basketball game. If you or a loved one is looking for help, find a treatment facility near you at findtreatment.gov. For immediate support, call, text, or chat 988. Brought to you by Nebraska DHHS in partnership with SAMHSA. Where will your path take you, traveler? To seek fortune in a new career? Or on a journey to distant lands for a well-deserved vacation? Wherever you go, one distraction could spell disaster. You can change your fate, adventurer. Don't drive distracted. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Are you tired of living in pain? It's time to take control. At Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery, we're your one-stop shop for expert care in Lincoln. From broken bones to complex reconstruction, our skilled team will help you get back on track. Visit prairieortho.com today and discover why we're the trusted choice for thousands of patients. Don't let pain hold you back. Take the first step towards a better pain-free life with Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery where healing begins. Call 402-489-4700. Hi, Sean Callahan here of HuskerOnline.com, inviting you to join us here on 93.7 The Ticket 
every Saturday morning now in our new time. We're on from 8 to 9 with the weekly Husker Online radio show. We'll give you the latest in recruiting. We'll talk about what's going on with both football, basketball, and we'll probably share a few stories from the inside. It's every Saturday morning right here on 93.7 The Ticket. It's the Husker Online radio show from 8 to 9 a.m. Load up on me and more this spring at the Mercado by Certified Piedmontese at 84th and Havelock. This week's special through April 23rd is buy one, get one free on 8-ounce flat iron steaks, limit four per visit. Also, buy one, get one 50% off on Montova grilled artichokes. And don't forget about lunch on Fired Up Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Locations at 84th and Havelock and 30th and Yankee Hill in Lincoln or 168th and Maple in Omaha. Get to the Mercado today for the best meat in town. Early break with Sip and Jake. Nobody goes to McDonald's more than you. Nobody. No, every meal, I, I every call. I, mean, I don't go every, every meal. Every, every meal. morning you're there. Every morning goes to McDonald's every, single every day. day. I do yeah. it. Oh, I go every day. Is it? Yeah. How many that's, times? I mean, that's a lot. How many? <laughs> Sometimes I'm saying in the next year I go nine times. That's I go high nine. for me. I'm not going nine oh, times. Oh, I mean seven McDonald's. times yeah. a week. Seven yeah. times a week. That's what I mean. Yeah. That's but there's a lot of times so though you go more than once a day. Oh, for sure. Yeah, so I'm telling you. So it's five hundred coffee. But you go five hundred times a year. That's a lot. Five <laughs> hundred times a year. The most I'm at is nine. I'm at nine. Shakes at four, and you're at five hundred. I say four to five for myself. <laughs> so, I said nine. You said put it that way. It is. Just do the math. Early break with Sip and Jake from six to eight every weekday morning on ninety three seven The Ticket. On the block with Strick and Austin. When you're when you're in New York, Nick in New York. I mean, you're talking about, you see mafioso types. <laughs> you go into a restaurant and you would literally eat. Hey, come on over here. You know, they, they, you know, I don't know how to say it. I don't got the accent, but they would say, come, come, speak, come on, come over. Have a drink on me. And what are you going to do? Say no? You, you, not say you no don't say no to the drink. <laughs> you don't say no. Weekdays from 2 to 4 on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Green on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Folks, we're back on this Thursday morning. We got the black shirt, the legend. We got Mr. Terrell Farley in the house. Terrell, I got to say this, man. You posted a picture of your granddaughter, and that face should be on a Hallmark commercial. It was priceless, man. Them cheeks, bro. Tell me she didn't got you around her finger already, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, man. Don't fall into that. That, oh, that was beautiful. That, that's the first time I've seen her. She did that to me. But, um. She was kind of excited on that picture. I, w- I was showing her some uh, grandpa highlights from college. So. There you go. I'll get her geeked up. And it amazed her. So she was so I'll amazed. Get her geeked up so. right if you're friends with Terrell Farley, if you're not friends with him on Facebook, you can't see. But if you're friends with TF, man, that picture it's clearly a, meant it was, it's pri- another it was priceless, one. man. It, it's another one that I just seen. See, I go on her mother page and steal her pictures from Facebook. There you go. So, you know, <laughs> and she took one that I just text her and say, I need that ASAP mm-hmm. because it was on the real, you know, one of the stories, oh, all the, all the stories yeah, okay. on Facebook. Yeah, so it's moving, but I want the original of that one, but you know, it, it's a, it's a great thing. I'm, I'm happy. I'm proud. Yeah. And I, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm going to cherish this time. And, um, Got to. I'm a try to be the best grandfather ever. Yeah. There you I don't go. doubt that. You know, man. that's oh, what wow. I'm going to try to do. I don't doubt that at all, oh, brother. Look at Nick over there. <laughs> What'd you say, Papa? Nick? Papa Farley. What's you call you? What uh, going, what's gonna be your grandpa name? I don't know yet. Papa. I'm Papa. Hmm. You Papa? I'm Papa. I don't know what mine's gonna be yet. It man. might be G Daddy. G Daddy. Yeah. It's gonna be some. Remember, your kids coming up with this. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be something real simple. Yeah. That's all. Because mine is Papa. Papa. Yeah. Real simple. Nick, what do you Mimi, think? Papa. What do you think yours gonna be when Gigi. you become a grandpa? Oh, I, I don't know. It's not really at the front of my mind right now. <laughs> <laughs> Nick is like, now, nah, bro. You know, I'll probably be Gramps. Hey, you I'm gonna say this real quick. Gramps we got this. Good. We got the spillover rolling. Simple. <laughs> Let me ask y'all this, man. I was so I was in Denver yesterday. Okay, right. Literally, it was called uh, Mile High Station. It's right across the parking lot from uh, 
Um, Go Broncos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right across from their, what do they call it? Energy field? What they field called, man? Empower. Empower. Ain't nothing empowering about it. But empowering uh, field. <laughs> was, but, but cool folks, man. And we were talking about, we're going to talk more about this tomorrow, AG, as far as recruiting and things like that, too. Yeah. Two are different. But um, just as far as them being glad that Russell Wilson was gone. I mean, when I, when I mentioned from the audience, I said, you know, I'm a, I'm a Steelers fan. There are a few more Steelers fans that made some noise out there and said, pray for us. Another guy yells out, well, you got Russell now. Enjoy that ride is what he said. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> we go, we switch real quick to, to, to NFL. TF, let me ask you this. Do you, if you're in Pittsburgh, if you're, if you're, if you're a Pittsburgh receiver, are you excited for Russell Wilson being there? Ooh. I'm more excited for Justin Fields. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, I, mm -hmm. I, I truly believe he should come out number one. You know, he, he just need a change of scenery. And he needs somebody that cares. You know, the Bears put him in a bad predicament. Yeah. And, and he had no help. He was Facts. running for his life 90% of the time. Facts. So, you know, he, he, he was running for his life. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, think, I, and I think the Steelers are going to put him in a position where he can be a, a long-time quarterback for them because – the kid is like 24, 25 years old. He's like, a kid. Yeah, he's yeah. Old. This was second year this past year. Yeah. Yeah. What's the second year? So he's, he's, so he's, you, you know, you, 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 as, as the Steelers got to approach this, they got to get younger. You know, they got to yeah. get some younger receivers in there. They got to, they really got, I, I don't know what their running back situation is. Running but, back, we good. They got Najee. Yeah, Najee. Yeah, yeah, they Najee got Najee. Warren. They got Najee. Najee. He's yeah, that dude. okay, my bad. Oh, yeah, my bad. I'm there. still, yeah. I, I, the only thing I remember about the Steelers running game so good was when they had Jerome Bettis. I was, I, I used to love the Bucs. Oh, they Bucks. good now, too. Yeah, I used to, good I, now I, too. I would play with him on Madden. Yeah. So, you know, hard to bring down. He was rough. So, you know, but, you know, I'm kind of, I'm, I want to see what he does. I yeah. want to see how Coach um, Tumlin takes this. And Jalen Warren and Najee Harris. And, and, and see what Russell does, too. Can Russell rejuvenate himself, or yeah. or is it just time to hang it up? That's the question. Yep. And uh, people, AG, how would you feel? Um, As a receiver? As a, like, or as a running back? As a running back. I'm, hey, I'm like, can't go wrong with either, right? They both have put, like, I'll say Justin, obviously, upside is more than Russell because just a year's age. Yep. But for talent-wise, I'm like, I was that guy. I'm a. I'm open. I'm like happy. I'm like I got two scrambling quarterbacks. Right. That's gonna complement my game as a running back. Mm -hmm. Najee Harris, Jalen Warren, Cordell Patterson. You got a young receiving core. Right. Pickens. And so I'm like, ooh, let's go have some fun with this. Mm -hmm. Whoever's the starter, that's who we gonna ride with. Yeah. And whoever's the backup, that's who we gonna ride with. That's you know that's Tomlin's mentality. It is. It's that we gonna play adjust, do what we need to do to be the team that we need to be to put a good product on that field. Yeah. So as a running back, I'm like, it's time to eat. Like, whoever's rolling with me, let's go. Yeah. You know, and just, you know what, y'all? Just I, be positive. I, and I can see why that the Denver fans felt the way they felt, too, because it wasn't and a then, good and then, and then, forget, forget. I'm going to stay one more thing on that. Mm -hmm. Justin Fields went to Ohio State. Ohio yeah. State is a heartbeat away from Pittsburgh. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. not far. It's even mm -hmm. though it's crawl, you cross it's, borders. It's easy. It's maybe a two and a half, three hour drive. When we got so that means it's going to be supporters there, yeah, there in that be. stadium in Hines yeah. Field for Justin Field yeah. come preseason. Yeah. I remember we as kids, we'd be driving to Pittsburgh to my grandparents. When we knew we got to Ohio, we knew we were close. We right. Rolling through there, we knew we were real close. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, making a hop on that border there. So it was close. And to remember what you said was right. Both of what you guys said was spot on. And, and like you said, Phil's doesn't have a lot of tread on those tires as far as, you know, years of it. And maybe Russell goes there. And obviously, he could be a good person as far as Tulich because the guy still is, you know, Super Bowl win, Super Bowl champion. Yeah, I, mean, I think yeah. the main thing is is like what Al Davis said: just win, just baby. win, baby. That's, That's it. it. The W Old is school. all that matters. I don't care how Old you get the W, facts. just win. I don't care if Nebraska win t uh, seven games by one point. <laughs> Absolutely, I don't care. Just win. We won. Just exactly. That's just it. win. Any way you win, just win. Yeah. All right, AD. AD Attitude Adjuster. Attitude all Adjustment yours. today. Let me pull this up right here. Got invested with the conversation. The AD Attitude Adjustment is sponsored by Integrated Life Choices. IOC is hiring for direct support professionals all over the state of Nebraska. Full-time, part-time days, evenings, and weekends. Help ensure a meaningful life for the people you support and helping to achieve their hopes and dreams. Apply at IOC.net backslash careers. After my talk yesterday, man, um, you know, you, you talk with people in the audience. They come up, you take a picture by the other. Uh, uh, the stage where the, mm -hmm. they have the, the signs for the, the sponsors, et cetera. A lady came up and she says, you know what? She goes, I'm learned in life that our scar, our wounds become part of our medicine. 100%. Right. And man, that stuck with me. I've, I've been thinking about that ever since then, man, in my own life, the mistakes I've made, the things that, 
I have to deal with. Your wounds become a part of your medicine. Yeah. So, folks, your wounds can be part of your medicine regardless of what you've been going through because those things teach lessons long term. All so, day. That was a good point by her right yesterday, man. That's, that stuck with me. I jotted that down. That's something I'm going to keep in my mind quite a bit. Folks, it's been a great show with great AG. Show. Can't right. wait for tomorrow, Nick. Appreciate you. Terrell Farley. You Absolutely. You got um, Terrell coming up next. Terrell, what you guys got coming up there, man? Oh, it's just me and ba Bach in the Black Shirt. Bach in the Black Shirt. On the Captain Show. I yeah. love it. You got the Captain <laughs> Show. <laughs> oh, stick around for the Captain Show with Bach in the Black Shirt. AG, take us home, my man. Hey, like we said, learn from them lessons. Get better in life. That's how you do it. This is a dry. Tune in out. It's $5.99 barbecue time. Hurry to Hog Wild for a complete barbecue meal that's only $5.99. Get a one meat sandwich loaded with our award winning barbecue plus your choice of a classic side and drink for just $5.99. Upgrade your sandwich to beef brisket for just a dollar more. Join us for lunch or dinner in Lincoln at 3210 Cornhusker Highway. Order online at gohogwild.com. But don't be late, we close at 8. You don't think about your roof very often, but you should never take it for granted. Roofing Service Company takes every measure to provide you with the highest quality roofing solution. Whether it's a new roof installation, roof repair, or a re-roofing project, their overall goal is to provide you with a pleasant experience and a long-lasting roof. If you have a need for siding or gutters, they're your place too. Visit RoofingServiceCompany.com for more info today. Used to spotty shop where our customers send their friends. That's the greatest compliment we can receive. If you've been in an accident, we'll get you back in your vehicle as quickly as possible. Our technicians care about you and your family and repair your vehicle to factory standards. We handle your claim from start to finish and provide a free loaner car. Stop by for a free estimate. Used to spotty shop, just south of 88th and Highway 2. The most recommended used to spotty shop. That's who we are. Nutrition Authority invites you to save 35 to 